What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, you guys, this is kind of a continuation from yesterday's video. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, um, definitely take a look at that. I'll put a link in the description. But yesterday's video was step one, was installing your Facebook pixel onto your landing page, okay? And I use Kartra for my landing pages. So now that I installed the Facebook pixel, it sits right here at the top. You can see right here, uh, pixel page view. So the pixel is on the page. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually walk you through how to set up custom audiences. And I'm actually gonna do a couple different custom audiences for you. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a few. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna set up three custom audiences right now. And just to kind of give you some context of this specific uh, client, um, this is a client that I manage uh, monthly. Um, it's one of, my, one of my retaining clients. And so I'm in her account just kind of you know, setting everything up and making sure everything is, is ready to go. And what I did first, or what we did first, is we launched this intro video. We ran this for the past seven days, um, got a few thousand people in her local area to view it. Now what I'm going to do is set up a custom audience of those who viewed it so we can then retarget them with Facebook ad number two. Um, I'm also going to set up a custom audience for everyone who lands on the page. I'm also going to set up an audience for everyone who opts in and lands on the thank you page. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. In fact, let me grab the thank you page right now. So as they opt in, they end up going to thank you for downloading. Thank you for downloading your seller guide. And I'll just make it long. It doesn't even matter. Um, thank you for downloading your seller guide. Okay, so I'm going to simply put this up here. We're going to create a custom audience of everyone who lands on the landing page and doesn't opt in. A custom audience for everyone who opts in, right? That's a custom audience right there of leads. Everyone who lands here is an actual lead. So you can tell right here, I got my pixel. Uh, same pixel on here, right here. So the pixels on the on the thank you page. And then what I'm going to do is set up a custom audience of everyone who viewed this past video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that's shaded to gray. Even though the ad completed, right, and it's no longer running, I still make sure that these are gray. Um, it's just a habit that I have. I turn all those from blue to gray. And there it is there. So now here's what I'm going to do. Let's do the, the video views first. Okay, so let's, let's create a custom audience of everyone who viewed that previous video. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to come in here, click these dots, and we're going to go to audiences. Where's audiences? Uh, right here. Sometimes you'll see at the top, but if you got to scroll down, you'll see it towards the bottom. So we click on audiences, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna go video. Now, I'm gonna do it again. I'll show you how to do the, do the pages as well, um, but let's do, the, let's do the video first, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply, um, these are for, I guess those are for previous ones, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that I'm in the correct account. That's the account right there, perfect. So I'm gonna simply go create audience, click the blue one, custom audience, and we're gonna go views, or we're gonna go video, I should say, which is right here. And then next, I'll do website, okay? But you can do, you can do all these other ones. I can, I can create a custom audience of everyone that engages with my Instagram, everyone who engages with my Facebook page or follows my Facebook page, um, any customer list. If I have a list of buyers or a list on my email list, any email list, I can upload a Facebook and create a custom audience around those people, right? Maybe you have a list of people who already opted in or a list of people who already purchased your product before. You can upload that list, create a custom audience and either include them and retarget them in the future or exclude them from ever seeing any future ads. That's the power of custom audiences. So you can include to retarget or exclude from seeing future ads. That's why these are so powerful, your custom audiences. So in this case, we're gonna go video and I'm gonna click right here and I'm going to, that first video, in fact, let me just show it to you. The first video we ran was a simple intro video right? This is week one um, of a four week campaign. So what I normally have a client do, these are all local business owners. What I normally have a, have a client do is I have them introduce themselves. 
they pull out their cell phone, they go on a four to five minute rant about them. A simple introduction, like introducing yourself to your local community. That's what, that's what this video is all about. And I normally have a client do that in week number one. So um, we'll run that for seven days and that's what we did back over here. That was that previous ad. Um, and, and the whole purpose of it is to, is to get a warm audience, is to find your warm audience, is to find those, those, is to build a custom audience of those who viewed a certain percentage of it. So that video over here, let's see if it's still pinned to the top. Yeah, it's this one right here. So this right here, here's a bit about me for those who don't know, know yet, who don't know yet know me. Does that mean, for those of you who don't yet know me, got it. Okay. So this right here, if we click on it, we got um, over 5,000 people to view it, right? So those are all 5,000 people. That was week number one. That was a week ago, right? So we got 5,000 people that viewed it that was at least three seconds. So at least three seconds, that's where that number comes from. Now, when I go and create a custom audience, what I want to do is I want to kind of, and, and let me let me go back real quick. This was a seven-minute video, okay? That was a seven-minute video. So what I want to do is I, is I kind of want to, I don't want to create a custom audience of those who watched 15 seconds of it. 15 seconds, I mean, you, you probably can, but I want, to, I want to go a little higher than that. I want to create an audience of people who watched at least 25% of it, okay? At least 25% of seven minutes. Those are people that, 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 that sat there for a good amount of time and, and at least got to know who this person was. They may have not watched the entire seven minutes, which most people probably won't do, but the people that watch 25% of it is a good audience. And those are people that I want to retarget to show ad number two or, or the next ad. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose video and it's going to be this one right here. We have 5,400 of uh, three second views. So that's what we want. We're going to go with this one right here. We're going to check that box and we're going to simply come down here and hit confirm. And we're going to name this 25%, um, 25% um, of intro video okay so that is going to be a custom audience create audience that we can retarget so once i set up the next ad now that first ad was video views that's ad number one right video views after that it's going to be conversions okay so ad number two and on our conversions. We're retargeting 25 percenters with conversions, okay? And every ad after that's going to be conversions because now we're trying to go for lead capture. Now we're driving them to the page to get them to click the button. That's what it's all about now for ad number two and on, right? But we wanted to run the intro first to grab the audience, to at least warm the audience up to get a few people, a few thousand people to see us and engage and watch what we're talking about, right? And then we just sit there and retarget. Ad number two will be another video. We, we, we grab 25% of those viewers, retarget for number three. And the same, 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 same. Just keep building these custom audiences of people that are watching your stuff and, and you're continually retargeting them. Okay, so that's the video. Now what we do, let's create a custom audience of everyone who lands on the website. So everyone who lands on this page right here, let's grab this part of the URL. You don't need the HTTPS, you just need that forward slash, after the forward slash. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna bring it over here, and the pixel for some reason, it's, it's something, something you know, not updated on the Facebook side, but that pixel is already on the page. So this, this red should have been green already. Um, but it's not, it's not green just yet. So let's see if we can still create um, um, a custom audience. So I'm going to go with people who visited a specific web page, which is this one right here. Okay. And we can go in the last 30 days. We can go up to 180. In fact, I'll go up to 180. And then what I can do is I can exclude, I can exclude people who land on the thank you page. So this right here, I'm gonna go take this and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to exclude. So let's let's um, put that down right here. Let's um, go specific page. 
So this is going to be simply a seller guide, seller guide page views. Okay. No opt-in. Okay. So these are people who have, have not opted, opted in. They simply landed on the page. They may have seen the, well, yeah, they've seen the ad. They clicked on learn more. They came to the landing page, but for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Okay. That's a custom audience. I want to continue to retarget those people. If they landed on my webpage, they got this far. They're familiar with what I'm doing. They clicked on learn more for a reason. They may have been driving at that time. They may have been cooking and the food was freaking burning on the stove. Kids may have been yelling in the background. You never know what the hell's going on. When people click on your ad, they're not always in the best position to fully follow through, but there, there had to have been an interest. Why, why else would you have gotten this far if there was absolutely no interest, especially if I'm targeting a specific type of person, right? So because they didn't opt in, they're now in my custom audience, which is this right here, seller guide page views, no opt-in. I'm going to create an audience. And that audience, again, is what I'm going to be able to retarget in the future, okay? So now, now it's showing green over here. Ready, 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 ready. Perfect. Okay, so now let's create another audience. And it's going to be website. And this is going to be for people who land on the landing page. Who I mean, excuse me, who land on the thank you page. The only people that ever land on this thank you page are people who opted in. So... When I bring them here, that right there is a lead, okay? So the reason why setting up a custom audience around these people are so important is because as I continue to run my ads targeting a specific location, I want to be able to exclude these leads. I, I want to be able to ex exclude this specific audience. If they've already opted in, meaning we, they, they've already landed on the thank you page, so we already know they opted in from the landing page, right? They're, they, they're, they're landing on the, on the thank you page, we know that these people are leads. So I want to be able to create an audience around that page so I can exclude them from ever seeing future ads. I don't need them to see another ad promoting my seller guide. They've already opted in. They already got the seller guide, right? So this is going to allow you to really save cost on your budget because you're not targeting people that have already seen your stuff and especially already opted in. You're going to continue to target new people, a cold audience, or maybe a warm audience because you're retargeting people who landed on the page before, right? Or people that watched your video before. So you're, you're continually retargeting a warm audience and a cold audience at the same time, but you're, 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 you're able to segment the right audiences. That's what these custom audiences are all, are all about. So I'm going to go people who visited a specific page and that's the page right there. I'll move this to 180. And this right here, the name is going to be Seller Guide Leads. Okay, and then create audience. Okay, so now as I go in and set future ads, you guys, I'm going to be able to use these to my advantage. I'm going to be able to include them in my in my targeting, which 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 is which is which is a form of retargeting that audience, right? Or I'm going to be able to exclude them from future ads. So as I start to build up this audience of of um, leads of seller guide leads, then I'll start to use always put that in. I'm going to always put that in as an exclusion. I'm going to always exclude that audience from seeing any future ads, right? So um, this right here is the basics, man. So again, yesterday's video was all about that pixel. Without the pixel, you couldn't set up any of these audiences. Um, so today was all about these audiences. These are the basic audiences that you want to for sure have set up any retargeting, any audiences on videos, and then for sure an audience on the on the landing page and people who land on the thank you page. You also want to set up a custom audience for those that land on your um, on your scheduled appointment. In fact, let me do that real quick. Those that land on your uh, scheduled call. So if you're shooting for appointments, right? So if you guys are those businesses. Um, in fact, I got to add the pixel. I got to add the pixel on this, but I'm going to do it for this page also. I don't want to bore you with this one. But if you're in any type of business where you're shooting for appointments, your pixel needs to go on the confirmation page. So as they go to your calendar, they put in their time and day, they click schedule now, they're then taken to a thank you page. That thank you page needs to have your Facebook pixel and it needs to be set up as a custom audience. Because again, you're gonna be able to, as you go and set up your ads, 
you're going to be able to exclude all those who scheduled an appointment. If they've already downloaded your seller guide or if they've already, you know, downloaded your free PDF or whatever your offer up front is, and, and for sure they've already scheduled an appointment, it's like, dude, you got to exclude those people from, from seeing future ads. That's the power of these custom audiences, you guys. So hopefully that made sense. Um, the next video will be setting up custom conversions because uh, that's where we're at now. The first ad was a video view ad to build the cut the 25% of that of that custom audience. Now from ad number two, we're going for conversions and we're gonna set up a custom conversion to make that all happen. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.